If you know what's going on in this video, tell me down in the comments section below. So for all of you who got it right and know what this technique is, well done. And for those of you who need enlightening as to what's happening here, it is absolutely not the heat. I've seen some comments from people saying it's the heat changing the colour. So let's take a closer look at the actual technique. It's called air touch. It's where you blast the hair through with a hairdryer, you apply foils and you get this beautiful multi-dimensional look. So when you then put the hairdryer on it afterwards, you blast through the small hairs that are in everybody's hair. This is due to the fact that everybody has very, very small hairs all throughout their head. It's not necessarily linked to breakage, although it can be. It's more likely the fact that hair is in different states of growth. Your hair goes through a growth cycle, grow, rest, fall out. When we blow away those very small hairs, it adds in very fine dimension to the hair. This is a fantastic technique for creating looks that blend seamlessly. And I mean seamlessly. It's fantastic for those clients who want to wear their hair straight, but they want some kind of balayage technique or balayage look. Remember the word balayage means to sweep. However, it creates a certain look and that is what we identify as a balayage. Now for all of you purists out there, I appreciate this is not a balayage in its pure form, of which I'll talk about further in another episode. But if you haven't tried this technique yet, or you want a look that looks like this as a client, it's an absolute cracker. And if you're looking for this kind of technique as a client, then make sure that you ask the stylist before you waste your time going for a consultation. There is alternative techniques that create similar effect, but I would argue, and in my own testing, there is nothing that quite replicates the air touch effect, not even the good old foliage.